Why are we so fascinated by the health of the royal family? Across the globe, there is an undeniable intrigue surrounding the British royal family. Whether it's their regal demeanor, their centuries-old traditions, or their personal lives, the world watches with bated breath. Recently, this interest has been particularly piqued by health concerns. Princess Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, and King Charles have both been in the limelight, their health issues subject to public speculation and concern. Princess Kate's recent move to Anmer Hall in Norfolk following her successful planned abdominal surgery and King Charles's cancer diagnosis have only fueled this fascination. This intense focus on royal health matters is a testament to our fascination with the monarchy and the personal lives of these royal figures. It's a reflection of our collective curiosity, our hunger for a glimpse into the private world of royalty. It seems our curiosity about the royals knows no bounds, but how does this affect the way royal health matters are communicated to us? From whispers to official statements, the journey of Princess Kate's health update is a story in itself. The initial rumors about the Princess of Wales's health concerns began to circulate, setting off a flurry of speculation and concern. These rumors, fueled by whispers and hearsay, created a cloud of uncertainty around her well being. Kensington Palace, the official residence and communication hub of the royal family, was initially silent, adding to the air of mystery. As the whispers grew louder, Kensington Palace finally broke its silence, releasing a statement that Princess Kate had undergone planned abdominal surgery. The news was met with a mix of relief and concern, relief that the rumors were finally addressed and concern for the princess's recovery. Alice's communication strategy was far from clear. Mixed messages and ambiguous updates left the public guessing about the princess's true health status. The lack of clarity led to widespread speculation, with some questioning the palace's transparency about the royal family's health matters. Then came the confirmation we'd all been waiting for. Kensington Palace announced that Princess Kate was recuperating well and had moved to Anmer Hall in Norfolk on the Sandringham Estate. The news was interpreted as a positive sign of her recovery, especially considering the surgery she underwent just over three weeks ago. The update brought a collective sigh of relief from royal enthusiasts and concerned citizens alike. In the midst of all this, Buckingham Palace announced the distressing news that King Charles had been diagnosed with cancer. The royal family's health concerns were mounting. Despite this, the news of Princess Kate's improved health and her ability to join her family for the half-term holiday in Norfolk brought a ray of hope. With the confirmed good news about Princess Kate's recovery, it's clear that the palace's communications have a significant influence on how we view the royal family's health matters. In an era where information is king, the balance between transparency and privacy remains a delicate dance for the palace, shaping narratives and public perception. How does the balance between public interest and privacy shape the narrative surrounding the royal family's health? It's an intriguing question to ponder. We've seen this delicate balance in action recently with the news about Princess Kate's recovery and King Charles's diagnosis. The public's curiosity about the personal lives of royal figures is insatiable. This thirst for information often collides with the private lives of the royals, creating a tension that can be quite challenging. When it comes to Princess Kate, her recovery process is undoubtedly a matter of public interest. Yet, her privacy during this time is equally important. Similarly, King Charles's health update has been a topic of public concern, but respecting his privacy during this difficult time is paramount. This constant tug of war between the public's right to know and the royal family's right to privacy shapes the narrative surrounding their health matters. It's a delicate dance with each step carefully choreographed to maintain the balance. 
The royal family's health matters are undoubtedly a public interest, but the question of privacy remains a crucial aspect of the narrative. What does the scrutiny into the details of Princess Kate's move to Norfolk in the absence of the Middleton family reveal about societal expectations and the media's role? Let's delve into this. The logistics surrounding Kate's relocation to Norfolk have been a subject of intense discussion. Every choice, whether it was the mode of transportation or the family's conspicuous absence from the public eye, has been inspected closely, feeding an ongoing narrative of speculation. Similarly, the Middleton family's noticeable absence from public view since before Christmas has raised eyebrows. This, coupled with the lack of clarity around the nature of Kate's recovery, has only intensified the public's curiosity. What does this tell us? It shows that societal expectations and the media's role in shaping perceptions are powerful forces. They weave intricate narratives around the personal lives of royalty, particularly when it comes to their health. It seems that every detail of the royal family's lives, particularly their health, is under the microscope. A testament to the power of public interest and media influence. So, what have we learned from this exploration of royal health matters and public interest? Indeed, we've seen how intense public interest drives the narrative around royal health. The palace's communication strategy, often shrouded in ambiguity, fuels this interest further. Balancing this public curiosity against privacy rights is a delicate task, seemingly exacerbated by the scrutiny and speculation that follow every move. As we continue to follow the health updates of the royal family, it's clear that our fascination with their lives, coupled with the media's influence, shapes the narrative surrounding these personal matters. And as always, we wish all members of the royal family the very best in their health journeys.